Right, we are going to show you how to remove the head unit, the screen, on your Range Rover Sport L494. Um, right, a couple of things. Now, we are going to upgrade this stereo to one of the Android 10.25 inches. Um, however, you may not be doing any of that, but let me just show you something before you do. So, if you're going to order a new Android screen, you will need to check what type of screen you have before you remove it. Um, um, it's whether it's resistive or capacitive. Now, just bear with me, I'll go into it in a bit more detail later, but obviously when you use your finger, you can control the screen. Um, low battery warning, thank you. Um, and if you can only do it with your finger, but not with a credit card or driving license, as the case may be. Um, so on some screens, you can, you can actually select things with a card. That would be a resistive type screen. So we clearly appear to have a capacitive screen and there's another way we'll check. But I wanted to show you that because you need to do that test before you remove it. Right, so we are all done now. So let's get on with the proper bit of the video, which is how to remove this screen. So the first thing you need to do, this is not a difficult job, I don't think. Um, we haven't actually done this before, so I'm making it up as I go along. Right, we need to remove this panel here. I've worked that bit out at least. Now, you've got a series of clips that are going in here and a series of clips that are going in here. So they're sort of at 90 degrees, so it's a bit tricky. So what I think is the best way is to pull this lip down first and then pull it out. So let me get on with it. So if you can get underneath here and get behind this. Yeah, I've got a little grip on this end here. And get my fingers in and then pull it down. You see, I'm pulling it down okay let me just see if there's, I don't think there's one at that end but then I can get behind it and pull it straight this way there you go you can see that now this one as those who are following our series will know this car's had a bit of a hard life now it's a bit tight on that corner there we go right so where are the clips what's, hold, what's making this fight so we've got a clip here you can see it's sort of rotated a bit there Right, I think there should be a clip there, and it's left it there, so we might need to, can you see that clip? You got that, George? Yeah. Right. This is just a guide pin, I think, as is that one, that dock into, can you see that little hole there on the screen? It docks into that little slot in the metal work there. Okay. Right, and what else have we got then? Then we've got a series of clips dotted across here. It looks like this, this, this tab looks like it's bent. That, that should have a clip on it and um, this one's got a clip missing so you you hopefully will have a full set of clips there now these are the little naughty ones at the bottom that poke up in underneath and it's these I was I was sort of peeling those off first before I then pulled that off so hopefully that's helped you right now 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 we've got that out of the way right Torx T20 so this is our little Torx driver and we got four screws. Let me start on this side. You got enough light there, George? Not really. Not really. Do you want a little bit more? Oh, let me grab you a little bit more light. It might give you too much, but if, if you keep that down by you somewhere, does that help? Oh, yeah, yeah, that's better. George has finished school. He's on school holidays. Right, let's have a look. Okay. That's the screw. Now they should all be the same. Yeah, so it's interesting. If you look at the screen on this display, this is a 2016 Range Rover Sport. You might think this whole bit is screen, but these two bits here are switch packs and the screen is only this middle bit. We'll show you um, so there's those two screws, sorry what I'm rattling on. Um, and then I've got another two this side, which are exactly the same position as those other two, and exactly the same screws. So there we go. Now our audio system on this car doesn't work. I think when it had its crash, something got upset. So I could either spend some money and fix that, or I could update to an Android system. So we're going to go and see if the Android system works. But the Android systems use some of the original equipment, so I, I'm still not sure if the car amplifier's gone or, 
or what's happening there. So there we go, on that one I can slightly different to the L405. So that's the metal cage. So you've got a longer bit and a shorter bit. The longer bit's at the bottom, obviously. So that's that. Now let me see what else we can... Right, at the top here, you might need to get your light out, well done George. Right, so there's a screw. Let's see if we can, let me hold that back up there. Does that help? There's a screw hiding there. Now, is that going to be the same as those others? Now, it looks like we've got a screw. Now, that's, is that, it, that looks like we've got a screw missing there. So, as we know, this car's had a bit of a hard life. Someone's, now, that screw is the same. It's the same as the others. We'll throw them all in the pot there. And, um, have you got one on your side, George? Yeah. Yeah. Do you want to swap there? You have that and I'll have that. Oh, you got two on your side? Yeah. You're lucky. Alright, hang on. Grab it now, that's it. Like a pro, chuck it in the bin. Alright. Okay, right, let's swap back. There we go. All good. Right. So we should now, I think they, these locate on these little pins down here. So we should be able to remove, now there we go. So you've got a, a little connector on the back there. Let's unplug that connector. You've got to push that little bit in there. Let me put my screwdriver down. So if I just push that in there and then give it a pull. So that's that removed. Um, now I don't know if it says left or right um, on there. I can't see it does. Um, but that's the left hand one so this little dot here is at the bottom so if you remember that's at the bottom and the slope goes towards the screen you got that George yeah okay right and let's have a go on the other one take that out let's put that back there there we go right. and then press on that again and that pulls that one out okay so there the switch packs removed Right, let's put those up there. Now, um, again, it looks like there should be more screws than, than have been put back in here. So it looks like they've got one missing there. So let's have this out here. Right, let's have a quick stop here to look. There's a key thing here, there's a key difference. So up here, you'll see this copper bit of the ribbon cable is at the top. Now this is again to do with resistive or capacitive screens. So let's just jump out of the car for a second and have a little lesson on resistive and capacitive screens. So I've got here a series of screens all lined up, okay? And they're all fundamentally the same, okay? Now what you'll notice is the capacitive screen, thank you, the capacitive screen, here's one type, and you'll see the ribbon cable is on the long side, right? So here's another capacitive type, and you'll see the ribbon cable. It's in a slightly different position to this other one, but it's still on the long side, okay? Right, the resistive one, which is the one that works with your finger and with a card, the, the little strip, the connecting strip for the touch screen is on the side here, right? So double check. So when you're ordering an Android system, you have to specify if your car system is resistive or capacitive. Ours is capacitive. Right, let's jump back in and carry on. That's really important because if you don't get the right one, when you get the host system up, the touch screen on the host bit of the system won't work. And I, I can, I've done a video on that. Right then. So let's have that screw out. Now all these screws are the same so far, so we're just putting them all in a pot. How many of you got yours? Sorry, Joe. Is there? Uh, it looks like they, whoever had this out before, hasn't put. All right, so let's have a look what we got going on behind here. All right, now hopefully we should be in a position now to start to prise the screen away. So let's have a look what connections we've got on the back of the screen. So this one here is, I believe, the optical fiber bust on the, the most bus. Okay, so that's that one. So we can 
remove that one. So there's a little tab you've got to press just there. I don't know if you can get that, George. I'll try and get it in the light. So you press that down and give those little wires. Now careful not to damage these because these are fiber optic wires. So you don't want to crease those or damage them too much. This here, I don't know what that one does. But there we go. That There's a little tab again. Most of these have got little secret buttons you've got to press to get them out. On these... Um, these connectors here, you've got to press in here. Oh, there, 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 there. And then this one looks like the main power connector. And again, if I flip it round, there's a little button we've got to press that removes it. So that is, that's your, that's all you've got. That's your head unit, um, the screen removed from a Range Rover L4 Range Rover Sport L494 so if you're doing that good luck with that